What's going on guys? This is the Wobble Fett, and welcome to Mechanics Monday, a series where I pick a mechanic to analyze each week that may be underexplored or unknown to players in the VGC community. Today, we will be exploring the new properties in Generation 7 that affect Aegislash, a Pokemon that I personally expect to see a lot of in VGC 18. Understanding how King Shield and Stance Change work really goes a long way in helping to both use and fight against Aegislash. And if you haven't used it yet in Generation 7, you might be surprised by some of the changes made compared to Generation 6. Let's start off with King Shield. As you probably know, King Shield is Aegislash's custom version of Protect, which allows it to switch from Blade Form to Shield Form. It's different from Protect in two major ways, however. First, a Pokemon using King Shield is not immune to status moves. Normally, this is bad for Aegislash because attacks like Taunt and Spore still go through the King Shield, limiting Aegislash's usefulness on subsequent turns. However, this property also allows you to Heal Pulse through Aegislash's King Shield, which is a neat trick to restore 50% of Aegislash's health. The second difference from Protect is that contact moves that hit into Aegislash lower the attacker's attack stat by two stages. To be clear, contact moves are what cause a drop in attack, not being a physical attack. For example, Marowak's Shadow Bone into King's Shield here does not drop Marowak's attack because Shadow Bone isn't a contact move. However, the Grass Knot from this Amoongus does, despite Grass Knot being a special attack. Additionally, unlike in Generation 6, if a Pokemon uses a contact move that normally would be immune, into Aegislash's King Shield, it still gets its attack lowered. For example, if Mega Kangaskhan here predicted Aegislash to switch out and used Return into the King Shield, even though Aegislash is immune to Return, Kangaskhan still loses attack. One bizarre property of King Shield that I ran into while doing research is that you can't use Instruct on it. I legitimately have no idea why this is the case, because Instruct works normally on other variations of Protect like Spiky Shield, and it also works normally on Relic Song when Meloetta changes forms, so I really don't know what's up with this interaction. On the more expected side of things, Z King Shield lets H Slash change forms through Taunt or Encore, just like other Z status news. I'm not sure if this has any real competitive application, since Ghost DMZ is typically the preferred Z Crystal, but I think it deserves a special mention nonetheless. And of course, all these properties apply to Smeargle using King Shield as well. Now that King Shield is out of the way, Let's look more closely at what really makes Aegislash Aegislash, Stance Change. You should be familiar with the basics already. When Aegislash executes a move that deals damage, it switches from its shield form to blade form. Status moves like Substitute, Swords Dance, or Toxic don't change the form that Aegislash is in when it executes the attack. The only move that can change Aegislash back to shield form is King Shield but Aegislash also reverts to shield form if it is switched out in battle. First and foremost, Generation 7 changed the order of checks involving Aegislash's stance change and successfully attacking. In Generation 6, Aegislash would always stance change first, then try to execute its moves, but that sequence is reversed in Generation 7. Here's an example of what I mean. Suppose Aegislash just used Shadow Ball into the Amoongus here, which promptly puts Aegislash to sleep with Spore. On the following turn, if Aegislash uses King Shield, it'll just take a nap. It won't turn back to Shield form unless it wakes up. This is the opposite of what would happen in Generation 6. However, this new mechanic isn't always bad for Aegislash. Suppose that instead it was put to sleep in Shield form, and you wanted to try and Shadow Ball. Unlike in Generation 6, you won't turn into the vulnerable blade form if you stay asleep. Instead, Aegislash will sleep in shield form, and only switch to blade form once it wakes up. 
Of course, this applies to other conditions that would prevent Aegislash from attacking as well, such as confusion or paralysis. In summary, this change makes it safer for Aegislash to attack, but also makes failing to King's Shield much more punishing. Because Aegislash changes forms mid-battle, many of its attributes are updated during that form change. Notably, type-changing moves like Soak or Trick or Treat, modifiers to the Pokémon's actual stat, like Speed Swap or Power Trick, and a Pokémon's weight are all reset to normal after a form change. Just to demonstrate this, both Soak and Speed Swap are being used on the Aegislash here. Because of its newfound speed, Aegislash can outspeed the Tapu Koko here and attack it with a Shadow Ball. Because Aegislash changed forms, however, the Thunderbolt on Aegislash is not super effective, as it changed back to a Steel and Ghost type. Similarly, on the following turn, Aegislash will not outspeed the Tapu Koko again, as its actual speed stat was reset to what it should be. I should note that this does not affect stat boosts for drop, like from Intimidate, Weakness Policy, or Icy Wind. The type of stat resets that occur with the form change are to the Pokémon's actual stat itself, not boosts. So you couldn't force Aegislash to lose a Weakness Policy boost by making it change forms, for example. As an aside, these properties also apply to any Pokémon that can change form mid-battle, like Mimikyu or Ash Greninja. Want to transform into Aegislash? You might want to think twice. If Ditto or Smeargle copy an Aegislash, they are forced into whatever form Aegislash was in at the time, and using King Shield or an attacking move won't change anything. While this is an easy way to get the animations for things like Blade Form King Shield or a Z move from Shield Form Aegislash, what it basically means is you hardly ever want to transform into an Aegislash. Finally, like many other form changing abilities, it's impossible to copy or remove stance change with something like Worry Seed, Skill Swap, or Power of Alchemy. Notably for doubles play, this means Trace is guaranteed to copy the ability of Age Slash's partner. However, what if both Pokémon have abilities that can't be traced? For example, Gardevoir here cannot trace Age Slash's stance change, nor Mimikyu's disguise. Instead of doing nothing, Trace instead waits until a traceable ability is sent out from the opponent and copies it immediately. For example, if Mimikyu switches to Salamence here, Gardevoir's Trace instantly recognizes that traceable ability has appeared and copies the Intimidate before Gardevoir itself switches out. That's all for today's Mechanics Monday. Did you know about all the new changes Aegislash got this generation? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I think that understanding how the new Generation 7 stance change mechanics work is going to be especially relevant for play in VGC 18, where I'm sure Aegislash will be an incredibly strong Pokémon. For example, understanding that Aegislash is locked into its current form of a guaranteed turn of sleep really opens up opportunity to, say, predict a switch, or otherwise capitalize on your positioning. As always, if you have any suggestions for mechanics you'd like to see, leave them below and your idea could make the next video. Until next time, have a good one.